Oh, hold on. You're not you're not being broadcasted, my bad. I did it again. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just me laughing in the intro. Uh, so welcome back to another Global Tanks League. Uh, this is one quite a few people have been looking forward to. First showing of the IMTLSKYSNS clan. <laughs> Um, or otherwise known as the Immortals NS and Kiss Your Sister Clan uh, versus Latino Gamers LG. Uh, so LG, the home team tonight, their first pick is Steps. Uh, again, I'm joined in the booth, obviously by Got a Dinghy mm -hmm. and Grim as well. Queen Grim. Our Queen. Hey. Everyone on your knees and bow. She doesn't like to be called Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Grim's fine, but the Queen of its own is like, unlike it, it's Grim. So, I'm so, excited to see it, this engagement. Looks like the teams are already picking tanks, so we can see what. It is going crazy. Three games on at the same time. So, yeah, I mean, we've got, got quite a few games on the go in the North American Champions League, Pro League and Intermediate League. This one, obviously, is a Champions League game. Um, this is a team that we've mentioned quite a few times. That's the KYSIM TLSNS team. Uh, Composed of a number of uh, winning clan members from 7F, NS, Immortals, uh, and LG are, are not to be taken lightly either. Some very good players inside there. Definitely not Vortex, Hulk, Trauma, 258. Goodbye. So, minute 20 left. For tank picks, looks like LG is ready. Have we got eight? Uh, there's seven on the side of Immortals. So, there's eight on LG. Okay. Ah, Smil. The lovable French Canadian. <gasps> yes, a light <laughs> tank, finally! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> About time. <laughs> so, so North would, Spawn. Would, would, I are wouldn't we be. Three tanks out, if you want. Uh, yeah. I mean, we still got a minute left for them. Have they got? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. So that's all of them. Yeah. Do you want to go down the tank? Why not? Screen? On the side of LG, we have an E4, a pattern, two Batchats, two IS7s, a Super Conqueror, and a 113. On the side of Immortals, KYS, NS, we have a T100LT, hell yeah, an Object 140, two Bad Chats, uh, two Super Conquerors, a 50B, and a 5A. Perfect, well, both teams got eight tanks up. Let's get this one started. So that light tank, I would imagine, is going to run through the middle get some early spots and then potentially go over into the bush in E7. Uh, yeah, there are lots of places you can go on this map of the light tank. Oh yes. Let's so see where he will go. Both, no, um, it's the wrong uh, spawn to do the climb over in A, B, 0. Mm -hmm. So it'd be interesting to see if they pick it in the next game and, and do that climb. I think Chief were actually the first to debut it on stream. I don't know if they were the first to do it, but uh, I know it pissed Wednesday night fights off and Hell's Camp. So we kept doing it. Because <laughs> it's broken. It, it, it's a really broken spot on the map. But I mean, it's there for everyone, so. Yeah. So straight off the bat. I am excited. 
Oh, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Smell going out, getting spotted, retreating and not spotting anything in return. Uh, wonder if he's running a 75% crew. Because that should not have happened. Uh, Chokers and Tubbins in their mediums, as well as Anarchy are holding back down the D-line, whilst the rest of their heavies will rotate down towards Cap. Cap Circle is in C9, as LG make their way over. Looks like one of their I-7s has been spotted, two. I-7 both bat chats have been spotted. Ooh. Fear my skill, taking some... Taking a shot of damage there in his bat chat. So we've seen this before from a few clans. Uh, holding down two bats. And I would imagine that Rupture Ninja in his 50B as well. They're going to rotate down the two line. Try and get up behind them in a flank. Uh, whilst the rest of the heavy sit out. And try to hold off the bulk of LG's team I would imagine as they slowly filter in to position. Oh, but the IS-7 there would have been spotted, and he's spotted there as well. Looks like the LT is making a move as well. Possibly uh, back up the bat chest. Oh no, he's going down the middle with the bat chest. I think LG knew exactly what was coming because they managed to put a bat chest up on a hill and the 48 pattern both looking that way, waiting. And I would imagine the E4 is going to rotate round now that the bat chat has been spotted. So there we go, Smell gets spotted. Pattern fired and missed. Takes a shot in return. And it's getting melted. Oh. Joker's getting yeah, rolled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the E4. But I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't a bad trade, to be perfectly honest. They brought the pattern down to a one-shot. Jokers is, although he's a one-shot for the E4, um, he's still at least a two or a three for what other tanks Sorry. are there. Seems to be where the battle is going on. It's an interesting spot for a hold down in his IS-7. Generally, don't want to commit any tanks down low on the zero line. Mm -hmm. That pattern playing smart and retreating out. Tubbins looking for shots. And LG rotating their other batch out up with my skill. So an early exchange of damage between two teams brings them to 88% hit points left apiece. And I think now it is just a waiting game. And making the most of your shots, I would imagine. E4 getting melted. Yep. Nice shot from Smil there. Inside of the Super Conqueror. I'm surprised that the two bat chats didn't stay up on the hill, because I'm sure they would have had shots on Smil. Looks like they're rotating back round. Smil doing what you want to do in a light tank, really, just be a nuisance, get some damage. Yep. Really bleeding hit points here now. We've gone down from 88 to 67 percent. Smil needs to run away because that back chat's on him now. Fires and misses, I think. Gets his second shot in. Smil returns. And again, it takes one. Tracks him crucially in the open. No repairs. Will he be able to take this back? He does. But he takes another shot in return. Yep, unfortunately. 
So I don't know what the plan there was for LG. I don't know if they just wanted to get rid of Smil or mm -hmm. what, but it didn't work. And they brought Seems like else. another batch that's coming around. I think Inessa are aware of that as they rotate the 50B back to give him some support. I mean, bat chat, uh, both bat chats are still a little bit too far away to be getting good shots in. But the rest of their heavies now Smell pushing a the shot there. Not getting detected. Well, he's now detected. Mortals team stationed in the north starting to move up. Close in, slowly but surely. my skill is just literally <laughs> I don't quite think he knows which way to go he's going up and down this um, zero line now he commits takes two shots misses one and then mm -hmm. pens one on Anarchy Anarchy gets tracked which travels brilliant shot on Jokers to even the scores at one all LG hunkering down here looking to try and bring it back as they lose a tank he falls on a one shot so, so is uh, fear the... my skill now, and the pattern. It's dangerous. LG just, LG lose another one now, so they're two tanks down to the Immortals KYS NS team. I mean, they still have a 113 on full health and an I7 that's fairly healthy as they lose another two tanks. That's unfortunate for them. And will surely lose another one now, fear my skill. Indeed they do. So Immortals with a five tank lead close in on the last two tanks. We do lose one, but I'm pretty sure that this team will. I don't even know what to call these guys. Like it's so it's so much of a mouthful. Just call them mortals. Ah, <laughs> oh, they do manage to take out uh Smear there. Mm -hmm. So round one goes to uh, the team. <laughs> the the team. <laughs> Those who <laughs> shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> the unmentionables. I like that dinghy. It's sticking. We'll go with that. So the unmentionables taking a <laughs> one nil lead. Uh, pretty good game, actually. Smell for me was the highlight there, just constantly on the go. Fear my skill as well. Put in a decent performance, he just didn't make his, most of his shots count. But he certainly was busy running up and down. Oh, now it just gets really confusing with all the different tags. I hate the unmentionables already. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard to stop them all, you know? One side always has LG, so... Easy? Enough? Grim, stop sticking up for them. <laughs> <laughs> Any clan that puts a build like tank is a, a friend clan to me, so... <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I know a fair few of them. Anarchy, of course, was in the booth with me not so long ago. Maximus, long-time friend. Dingy, you, you'll, you'll have known Maximus from his time in Nightmare, oh, yeah. I'm sure. I remember him. Good guy. Always uh, been a nice guy. Still haven't forgiven him for not coming to Chiefs, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> that's a personal issue. And then, of course, Sir Tovin's the Leaders of Immortals. Smil, mentioned before, is Modius. Modus have been around for a long time. A lot of these players have been around for a long time. And when I say a long time, they've been around since the beginning of comp. Back in WCT, it was called then. Mm. Uh, so they did choose the T100 again for the North Spawn. Oh, yes. It'd be interesting to see <laughs> if they do put it up in that climb on the zero line, right up in the AB. In fact, I don't know if Wargaming patched it. 
Have they patched it, Dingy? You like to do some climbs. What area? On the A0? Yeah, AB0. I AB0. have not heard of any patching, but I don't uh, climb this map very much. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them doing what they did last time. The T100 is su has such a low profile that um, you can really make any bump into a ridge. Yeah. I like to do Great Wall and uh, Hidden Village. Those are fun ones. Hidden Village is so broken at the minute. Like, it literally just climb anywhere. Yeah, I haven't found any walls on that. So it looks like the unmentionable coming out with a slightly more mobile setup. Looks like they're going to go, I would hazard a guess and say that they may do an aggressive mid or one line push with that lineup. So, still waiting on one tank from LG. Alrighty, so the unmentionables coming out with a T100 LT, an Object 140, an M48 Pattern, two Batchats, an I7, and two Super Conquerors. Latino Gamers coming out with a oh a retaliation of a T100 LT, Object 140, pair of Batchats, two IS7s, a Super Conk, and a 5A. Round two, underway. That's good for you, Grim. Two light tanks. Of course. Not really. I have a, uh, what do you call it in English, um, a favour towards Smil, like I, I expect him to be the top light matchup. But I have a yeah, light tank player, player in LT, so I'm not just here. Smil was very effective in that last game in the in the I mean he's he's a very good player in general. Um Yeah. But very effective in that T one hundred in the last game. Very surprised that he got spotted straight off the bat and didn't spot anything in return. So I don't know if LG had a, a super crew in whatever spotted him or Smil just doesn't have that good of a crew in his T one hundred. Very aggressive. Barry. And didn't get spotted for it either. Oh, now he is. Running very oh, close. Very, oh. very oh. close to that. Style check. points. <laughs> He's got some style points. Uh, he takes a hit for it though. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been beaming with confidence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've yeah, I've played too, in the the many times. And... What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I've played it many times. I've, I've flipped myself many yeah. times and got myself killed, so I can relate. Not quite as bad <laughs> as the T52, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So LG sent in a, the pair of IS7s and the 140 over to the left hand side. Everything else has kind of remained. Mm -hmm along the spawn ridge line. Uh, the unmentionables are sending a bat over to the right side to spot. The three heavies as well for support. Nice to see that they um, they have some rotation in their squad. I mean, it's a scary prospect when anyone on that team is a starter. <laughs> That's a lot of ego <laughs> management to be done. LG taking some early hits to their heavies in the 5A and the super cock. And the unmentionable is still only down the one shot to smell in this T100. Oh, Joker takes a hit. Is that but two hits? Smil puts a shot into the 
5A. It's a very interesting strategy. I've never seen this kind of a strategy. Looks like the mediums are going to try and push up the middle, but LG have kind of learned from the last game and kept tanks back. Smell takes another hit. He's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, quite literally. Yeah. <laughs> and can't really move without getting spotted and taking damage. He could move uh, back towards his comrades. Uh, he won't be spotted if he uses the rock as cover, but see what he does. So it looks from the minimap like the unmentionables are pushing heavily down the 1 2 line with their mediums. Um, of course, the overmatch down on their heavies is there, but it's hard to push in to hold down tanks, even if you have more guns. But it looks like they're going to try it anyway as they go down low. Maximus taking a shot, Smill taking another. LG seem to have the early advantage of leaving their opponents out. But how long will that last? El Crino's the... tracked. Looks like, yeah, he'll be taken out. Yeah. As, as Modius gets a kill and immediately goes on a reload. Smart play. Mediums are now coming. So this is why it's preferable not to go down through the bottom with a push, because you have to keep coming up and exposing yourself to get shots, especially with tanks that don't have the gun pressure. But it looks like LG are going to push into the mortals' heavies here. You need to focus fire as the virality is the lowest health. It seems like they are doing so. Yeah, looks like Fear My Skill will be taken out in a moment. Bringing him down to yeah. a one-shot. Fear My Skill goes down. LG really need to even up the score here and try and get these three heavies out because it looks like they're focusing all their effort into it and the unmentionables are bringing their mediums in behind as well. That is not what you want. Void Walker on 87 hit points and they get both of them down. So Latino Gamers Taking the tank advantage here and, and certainly bringing it even on hit points and just taking the lead there as Smills down Smil to 73. Smills flip. Someone needs to get oh him no. before. And they do, they get him out. I'm pretty sure Smill is not going to hear the end of that for a long time. Flipping twice Especially when I guess and good dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing with rocks, they can either help you escape or they can just go, nah, I'm going to stay here and die. <laughs> so the unmentionables, oh, that was a very crucial fire from his genuine jokers, was it? Down over okay. in uh, yep. K5. Splitting their tanks up here. Um, LG haven't quite reacted to that early advantage that they had. They don't necessarily have a lot of hit points to play with and they have to deal with two bat chats at the same time. It's, uh, it's definitely one of those teams that you would never underestimate to bring something ridiculous back in a clutch situation. Yeah. Tubbins farming the I-7 as much as he can before he pulls back and they get too close. He is isolated like as ruptures. Yeah. Need to get in and try and eliminate him as quickly as possible. Tubbins bounces off the I-7. The 140 comes in behind to get a shot. 
and the IH-7 takes him out. So, OG taking back their two tank lead. Yep. You know, uh, the Immortals uh, kind of squad has more hit, po um, hit points in them. I uh, um, at least Joker's to not but you know it's kind of it is kind of even still, but you know LG do have the tank lead as you said. Yeah, having two extra guns in the game is um, is is crucial, especially when you're going against two auto loaders as well. Um, yeah. But the issue they have is that one of their tank is a one shot, and two of them are a two to three shots. The 5 and the I-7 are still healthy, so I would say that they should lead with those if they were going to push, but I think right now LG are in the best position, because if the match ends how it is, they take the win, although they don't get the bonus points for killing all of them, it's really on uh, the unmentionables to push into them if they're going to try and win this. Unmentionables. interested to see where Asmodeus goes here. I think they're just trying to get themselves into positions to, to set up a crossfire. And it looks like LG mm -hmm. are just trying to get themselves into a position to to turtle. Ninja takes a tracking shot, but I didn't see any damage. Rupture, meanwhile, driving... Asmodeus even driving through the middle. And Rupture trying to get himself into a position to get some shots off. LG leaving a bat behind. Seems as Modus is going to catch this bat on reload too. Oh dear. Did spot up the I-7 as well. The I-7 is not looking the way of the other two tanks. But does have a hill between them. 20 seconds left. I think uh, the Unmentionables are going to go for a late push in here just to try and even the score. As Modi is coming in. Does he get the kill? He's not wow. focused. RNG does not like him again. Wow. No. As he goes down, and LG take the win, bringing it back to one apiece. I'm sure Asmodeus will be very unhappy with what happened there. He had two yeah. side shots on the uh, 140 and bounced them both, you know. I wouldn't imagine a player of that caliber would be RBRT in. Well, I don't think he was, but he did bounce them. Yeah, it's always Russian side armor is, is probably the strongest in the game because Russian bias. Isn't that right, Grim? <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. I mean, huge congrats to LG. That will settle the nerves a little bit for them. I imagine there's been a lot of hype about this Immortals, KYS and NS team. Um, a lot mm -hmm. of teams are kind of fearful of them in, in a way as a, they are a very strong team. I know Anarchy said they still have a lot to learn as a team. But just, yeah, LG probably wouldn't have come in here with the brightest of hopes, but they've certainly got a win there. And that might settle them down to go on, try and get another few. Do we have a map pick? Who are we uh, looking for for it? Uh, still waiting on it. I think the. Uh, as Modius, I've explained this to so many people. <laughs> You've got to remember. So um, <laughs> obviously, that that game was a draw. Um, LG took it due to having killed more tanks than uh, the other teams. So the win does go over to them, and the scores are now at one all. Interesting. Pick 
from him. The Unmentionables, Runeberg. I don't think that's one we've seen, Dingy. Ruinberg, yeah, we I haven't, haven't seen, seen it too much. Oh. Looks like we're getting some salt in the a... chat about the uh, unmentionable roster. Yeah, what's what's the lowdown? Oh, I love some good entertainment. Um, just saying, someone's just upset about it. How do you get upset about a roster? I don't understand. Is this multiple <laughs> contacts, maybe? I don't know. Oh? Maybe. I don't know. I'm unable to see to see the chat dingy, so if, if it gets too serious, just let me know. I've got uh, no, it doesn't sound like it is. there, so he can ban or uh, do a temporary timeout. It's too bad. All righty. So, Immortals, KYS, NS, oh, just the unmentionables. Coming out with Roomberg as their map. The going to take one. Well, they, then, then I offend them. They don't like it. So I may as well offend everyone instead of just one one group of people and just call them the unmentionables. <laughs> they who shall not be named. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So they came out with Runeberg as their map pick. Happy to stay on the left side, which will be the north spawn. Uh, Cap, if I remember correctly, is over down on the zero line. Um, so a lot of the action tends to go down around there. It's kind of a sit your tanks up and try and bleed the other team out before your push. Um, although looking at the unmentionables, first three tanks, that was going to be my next suggestion to send some mobile tanks down through the town, down the one, two line to come up and pincer the team to help the heavies you commit to the cap push forward. Yep. So just a little under two minutes left for them to pick all their tanks. Predictions from here on? What do we think? I think Immortals will win. That's just my prediction. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of close. It could be a comeback. I think we may go to Ghost Town. Oh? Did he just deselect his tank? What tank did he have? Uh, we're, no, there's no um, deselect oh, okay. rules or anything. I, I mean, basically, you have three minutes. Um, and if you don't pick your tanks in those three minutes, oh, as we've okay. seen earlier today... Uh, we will start the game, but if you want to deselect a tank, there's no issue with that. All right, right. Grim, do you want to run through the tanks? Sure. On the side of Immortals, we have two E4s, a Batchat, two IS-7s, two 50Bs, and a 5A. On the side of LG, we have an E4 on Object 140, two Batchats, an IS-7, two Super Conquerors, and a 5A. All righty, round three is underway. Score's currently tied at one all. My prediction was that I think it's going to go to Ghost Town. I think Immortals, NS, uh, KYS, LGBT, uh, definitely the more aggressive team. Um, but LG certainly showing that they, they are worth their spot in the Champions League and uh, quite happy to turtle down and make it work for them. Mm -hmm. It's like 40 people watching this, you know? Yeah. Pretty cool. 38 right now. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty big game. I mean, a lot of these names 
have been around for a long time. They're, they're very well known within the community. A lot of people are also interested to see how this, I mean, what's been dubbed as the super team play. Yeah. No one in those three clans, um, or should I say everyone in the, in the three clans that are there, the KYS is a, obviously a joke clan tag. Um, their players certainly are. That is definitely true. It so looks like um, both teams are splitting up their squads either side. Interestingly though, the unmentionables do have an overmatch in that they're committing two 50Bs of 5A and the bat chat into LG's 5A bat chat and 140. Although their other bat chat did look like he was going to come down, but I don't think he is. The issue the unmentionables will have with pushing down that side is if LG can get their tanks into position, they will have side shots down, as they already do as Virality takes a shot. Joker's here, realizes that, and just commits fully into it as LG push in on... Smil taking a shot down. On to Smil. Joker's now coming around to unload. Oh, that is not a position you want to be in. A 50B in your front and a 50B in your rear, just unloading. As Immortals try to move in and capitalize on the overmatch on the 5A. 140 now. 5A goes down. 5A does indeed go down. Their bat is on a 2. The 140 has still got hit points to play with, but takes a shot there as it looks like. Both 50Bs are on a reload. Meanwhile, at the top, looks like LG have an overmatch over on the unmentionables and are pushing in towards getting it. It's hard to push in it on, on a... At this level, it's hard to push in because they mm -hmm. know how to react to it. They know to focus down one tank at a time and just clear the guns. They're not going to be shooting anyone who's in front of them. They're going to work together. Yes, exactly. LG have lost three tanks here and it looks like this one may be over. As another one goes down and they're down four. Another one down. Where was that bat chat of Gears Exix? Because he's still Gears Evil. Still on full health. Just trying to eliminate one of their E4s. Doesn't, does manage yeah. it, but then gets taken out. And final tank as well. So the unmentionable is bouncing back from that loss in round two to take it 2 1. Yes, indeed. Fear my skill with a, a very respectable 3300. The rest of his team didn't really get anything going. One e did nothing. You know? So That is not what you want from your E4 driver. Fire three, hit uh, one, yeah. pen none of them. That's unfortunate. We all have those Sir games. Sir Tobbins, on the other hand, uh, did 3.4k to well on to him. And m most of the uh, Immortals scored it over 1,000. Basically 1,000 all of them. So. Well done today. Spread was very good on their side. Indeed. And in these kinds of games against these kinds of players, you really do have to make your shots count. That, more than anything at this level, is, is where games are won and lost. Is Are you trading effectively? Have I got everyone over? Not only are you trading effectively, but are you actually hitting your shots and winning them at the same time? Because either of these teams will make you pay if you're not. For sure. Oh, I've still got Rexy on the other side. Oh, 
Well, after that game, I think my prediction might be wrong, but I would love to see LG prove me wrong and uh, come back with a win in this. I mean, as we saw from the first round um, steps, you know, both teams are really close. But from what I've seen of uh, this squad of players from past comp games and up games even, you know, they have sort of the advantage, experience-wise, and that sort of thing. I do think. Very true. And that's I not mean, to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know. I know um, LG is is not a clan that has been around for a very long time, but their players mm -hmm. certainly aren't new. Um, oh yeah, I'm not. That's what I was going to say. You know, it's, I'm not saying they're inexperienced. I'm just saying the immortal side has a significant amount. So. Yeah, they, they certainly, I, I would say every single one of their, their team knows what it takes to win uh, a tournament or a league or, or any sort of major competition. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they've all won one at least once in their uh, tanking careers. Wasn't Immortals, sure. did they come from the old PG clan a couple of years back? Uh, not Immortals. No, Immortals have been one of the, the sort of longest standing clans in the game. Um, let's really quickly go down the Maybe tank list. So LG bringing out an E4, 140, two bat chats, two I7s, a 50B, and a 5A. Uh, INTLS, KYSNS bringing out uh, two E4s, two I7s, two 50Bs, a 5A, and a bat chat. Is that two? That is everything. So let's get this game. Oh, and a and a five A. Did I say five A? Yeah, I did say five A. Um. So yeah, Immort Immortals have been around a very long time. I would say since the beginning um, of comp. And it's NS is the clan you're you're thinking of, Dingy, who. Uh, they became NS via 7F, which became 7F via PAG. Okay. Yeah, I knew there was like a, a train of clan names that came off of them. But there's there's a lot of players who, who I mean, before 7F disbanded, I think they had 50 players in their roster. So there's a lot of people who have had the tag. Um, and LG, of course, uh, I was going to say, were, I believe, formerly members of 8-Bits, which was one of the top sort of Spanish South American clans um, on Xbox. Mm -hmm. So I know they have uh, Fear My Skill, obviously used to be Flyaway, um, very good, talented player. Uh, they also have PlayStation, the irony on an Xbox, and he as well was in 7F, I believe, and NS, or maybe even AM, which was the split of 7F into two clans. So off the back, LG committing down, a couple of tanks into the town. I think they think the same strategy is coming, but Unmentionable's pushing straight for the cap, and six line. LG, I mean, their bat chat spotted all of that, so they've seen that and they've continued to move up through the city with what they committed down there. The bat chat, the 50B, both bat chats on the 5A. Unmentionable's got their 50B and 5A stationed for it once it comes through. And there we go. Bat chat taking punishment for that. Smart call to leave a few at the top. As everyone else slowly trickles in towards position around the cap. Looks like LG are going to push through the mid and the unmentionables are going to commit a couple of tanks towards that town entrance. As genuine jokers in this 50B takes a shot off one of the bat chats. The other bat chat is on a reload. And 
I think this one's going to play out for a little while longer. <clears throat> it looks like the Unmentionables have managed to commit some of their tanks onto the cap to apply some pressure, maybe force LG into a push. But they still have 2 minutes and 50 seconds before they have to react. Although it does look like they are reacting now as their E4 takes a shot. And another very big shot. Looks like the Unmentionables had a trap all along and LG have just fallen straight into it. As their 140 goes down. This looks like a very premeditated plan from the Unmentionables here. Going yep, exactly... You've always got to be, be uh, careful. When you go on, when you play on a map, the other team is picked because you don't know what they're going to plan, what they have planned. You can base it off what people normally do on these maps, but you never know. And that's it. That's what. That's why it's such a, a huge advantage for a home team to have their map pick first, because obviously they they stand the potential to go two 0 up. Although Immortals, KYFNS did take one as another tank goes down. Yep. Bring an LG to a two tank deficit. Smill taking a reload. Jokers as well is on a reload. And the other 50B of Rupture Ninja falling back on a reload. Uh, LG stuck between a rock and a hard place here around the cap as I7 pokes to get absolutely smashed by the E4 of Maximus. Maximus, though, taking some punishment in return from the town, I believe. And STL's. No, no. Rexio. Oh, yeah. Rexio taking some punishment as well. E4. Officer Tubbins is on a 1. As Rexio commits in to grab himself another kill, and Mortal's here with a 3 tack lead. Conserving the hit points of the E4s is. They slowly close in around the remaining tanks on the cap circle. IS-7 now goes down and I don't see a way back here for LG. No, I do not either. I mean, the Immortals uh, team has over double their hit points now, so definitely no way out. Yeah, and they reduce another bat chat down to the garage. Still got one bat chat down here on full health. The 50 B is retreating on reload. These two need to try and focus out the lower health tank in front of them in the 5A before the rest of the tanks pile in and just slowly start eliminating them. Spear so my skill does get a kill in the end, so Tubbins in his uh, E4. And now looking to try and get Rexio out in his IS-7 as he goes on a reload. Loses a teammate on full HP and I don't think he even yep. got a shot out in return. No, that bad chat uh, was reloading and got hit by what I assume is an E4 on the way past. So. That's very, very unfortunate. Yep. So... Joke was coming out with the most uh, damage done there for that team. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get Asmodeus in for a chat. I believe uh, Latino gamers have said that they will try and get someone who can speak English um, to join us, but they would let me know. I'm the last person you wanted to invite to this party. <laughs> oh, but you are the best person to invite to this party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could invite Maximus, but I'm sure he's bugger enough back to Destiny 2. Um, yeah, he's already off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most, most of your team will probably be jumping off, to be fair. Um, firstly, congratulations. Uh, 
I'm sure you would have preferred to to take the three zero win, um, but LG put up a good fight. I mean, we were saying it, it it probably could have been dubbed as the David versus Goliath fight. I know you guys are, are quite humble and and don't like to be called the favorite team, but uh, it's kind of hard to not with performances like that. I would say we actually played very poorly against LG, taking nothing away from them, from our side, because we had never played in a match at all together. So we seemed all discombobulated, so many voices talking, we got to work on a lot of things. But we should get better as the matches go on. Oh, definitely. And and I suppose, really, that's not just limited to you. As, as slowly you start playing everyone, everyone understands you and everyone understands everyone else. Um, every team's going to get uh, slightly better as it goes on. Um, right. Our caller did not... Un our caller could not differentiate any of the voices. And there was 11, 12 people in parties, so you got to <laughs> imagine how that sounds. It's, it's a balance, isn't it? Of, um, <laughs> yeah. Too much talk, not enough talk, and just stuff that people shouldn't be talking about. But I don't imagine that would go on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously that's an area to look forward to to improving on um was there anything else kind of that, that you were looking at i think smill needs to take some driving lessons in a light tank yeah i actually said i was like they have be like five heavy them. tanks <laughs> why do we have a light tank you're not the only <gasps> one that tried to get smill out of a light tank <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but no, right now we're like I said, we've never played with each other really in any competitive sense. So we're just trying to fill all the players out, see which player excels in this role versus this role. So it's really just a tryout, I guess you could say. Yeah, I did say I sort of touched on that and mentioned it. I didn't realize that that was why I said it was nice to see that you had rotation going on. I mean you do have a fairly solid lineup all the way through, so I guess it is just a case of trying to um, figure out who does what best. Well, I don't know if I would say we're so organized. It was more along the lines of our caller saying, I need this, and just whoever clicked first played that game. <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll take the... Yeah, we were very organized. We had a rotation, and... Everyone was happy. <laughs> so I don't know if um, in and amongst all the party chatter, Smil would have mentioned to you and, and what I was touching on there. He did manage to roll his tank twice in the second game. <laughs> the first game, he was phenomenal. He was a nuisance. He had some really good cover in the hills um, and, and played the T100 to its strengths. But the second game, it's not as good of a tank when it's on its roof. Right, I actually, uh, the second time he flipped it over, me and him were pushing in, hopefully to, you know, help our Super Conquerors and IS-7 out before they died, but we were there too late, so we turned around, and Smil just went right into the rock, and I was like, we're down another tank. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly made him pay for it. I've seen him, um, I had a mercenary game, and I actually got it wrong, I thought it was Anarchy, but it was Smil. Uh, came down to the last tank and he was in a bat chat and he said he wanted to go troll the last remaining E4 and got absolutely destroyed for it. He just <laughs> messed it up, rolled his tank onto the top of it and then got blown up. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd have sent you a warning before that he's, he's not the greatest of drivers. Yeah, <laughs> I wish we would have known player. that before we played LG. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, th things are on the up. I mean, you've said as much that the team's only going to get a little bit stronger. It's nice to get a win under the belt. Um, and yeah, uh, really got anything else? Oh, I gave you a new name, by the way. I just got tired of the uh, Immortals KYSNS. You've now been dubbed the Unmentionables. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's... I like that. <laughs> but Ismodius, but... thank you so much. For, for bringing the team out. I don't know if you have anything else you wanted to add on to it. Uh, only the one thing, um, Queen, I thank you for thinking that I did not RB 
those tanks on steps. I no, did. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow, the truth <laughs> comes out. I, I know. Yeah, I, 19, I went, 19, you took this. Oh my god. <laughs> I went in there. I was like, this will be an easy RB on the IS-7. Get the 140. And I... I messed it all up, and the first thing yeah. I did was I I went to the stream, and I was like, I hope that was not caught on camera, and it was. And spoken and about I, as well. I, I kind of, but the thing is, right, <laughs> I could tell you did it, and I was trying to like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, I'll just, let's co cover it up, I'll, I'll sugarcoat it, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and I tried to say, that, no, 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 he didn't RBRT, of course not, <clears throat> but you know. <laughs> Well, I very much RNG appreciate that. Side. My my <laughs> reputation is intact. Oh, don't worry. I I'm, I'm known to RBRT like literally everything. So you know, I point the things at me instead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Aside from that, no. uh, our team's still obviously learning voices. I mean, we're ground level here, but. I mean, we have two more tournament matches this week, so hopefully we're, we started out a little lackluster, but I think we'll get there. Yeah. But, yeah, that's all there is to it. We just got to practice and get better. Uh, Tubbins is saying we wouldn't let him in. Tubbins, because I don't have you as a friend on Xbox, by all means, as much as I you want to throw him in. Well. To the party He's... as well. I think I do. Yes, I do. Or is as as Modi, you're probably ah. the best person to ask. Is anyone still around, or have they all I mean, gone off? Sir Tubman just. Is... I've had enough of his Brooklyn accent already. Do we really want to back <laughs> it? <laughs> you have no choice now. Oh. oh no. Oh. What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> so Tubbins, leader of, well, Immortals, which is now in cahoots with NS and KYS, banded together to be called the Unmentionables. Congrats, Tubbins, firstly, on the 3-1 victory. Asmodeus was filling us in on your lackluster performance. And you were the reason for losing the the one game, <laughs> I believe. Oh, so me? Yeah. yeah. There was uh, so much me. trash talk. Yep. So how did it go for you, Thomas? How do you feel like uh, the game went, and and how's how does it feel like the teams getting along? Oh, I think we're getting along fine. I think the games went okay. I mean, considering that we never played together, and uh, I barely play tanks anymore because I kind of hate it. Uh, you know, could have won worse, could have won better, you know, but what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, and it's always important to to constantly keep learning. I mean, constantly keep learning? Yeah, well, I mean, as Modi has learned that you don't, ha you don't want to be RBRT and on the side of an IS-7. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> you talking about me RBRT? <laughs> No, it's no, hilarious. definitely. Uh, I hit a guy from had... 980 picking my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's the joy of an E4, though. Yeah, that's why I play it. <laughs> People don't realize how bad I am. They <laughs> just put you in a tank that, that makes you look good. Well, it makes me look not bad. That's what I really go for. <laughs> 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 So, what are your thoughts going forward then? You guys, uh, obviously every team's in it to win it, but do you feel like you guys have got a good chance? I hope so. I mean, I, I hope so. I mean, we weren't, uh... I th I think Tevin we should do needs fine, to learn maybe. voices first. Yeah, I mean, we gotta, we gotta kind of figure out, I mean, we kind of just have been coming and winging it, but I think if we play together a little bit and uh, I get back into playing and a couple of my guys get back into playing, we're only going to get better, so, you know what I mean? Indeed. I would suggest that you give I mean, your uh, LT driver some driving lessons, though. Oh, Smell? You, 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 listen, you want to talk to him, good luck. <laughs> 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 the lovable French-Canadian. 
Spicy yeah, no, flicked. Yeah, a good guy. And the second time it no, cost him. I mean... We kind of just uh, came in here, I guess, because uh, it looked like a few people were dropping out, and he kind of just asked me, and I wasn't even planning on playing in this thing. So I think... Uh, no, and I mean... We'll do all right. We're... Thanks for coming. <laughs> grateful to... Thanks. To have another top-tier team in the Champions League. It's good to see. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys progress throughout the tournament. Like I've been saying all week, um, and as I said to Asmodeus, each of the teams are just going to get better as they adapt, more game time, more awareness of how the other teams play. Um, and really, you guys are at the disadvantage here in that most, all, all but one of the Champions League games has been streamed, so... It's out there for everyone to see. They see that. That's only going to make us look better, you know, because we look pretty bad. I, think. <laughs> I mean, they might they might take us lightly, so that might not really be a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a little look here at who your next game is going to be against. Your thoughts on that? So up next, you've got Stop. on your six, you're going to be the home team, and then you play Nightmare as well, who will Nightmare. be the home team. I bet it will be fun to be uh, reunited, Asmodeus, with uh, Kaiser, although on the opposite teams. Yeah, we actually have our uh, GTL match scheduled for Monday, so we play them in two days. Oh, so, so you've switched around and you play them before on your six? That's right. Well, we actually already had a scrim set up with them, and then they messaged me and were like, hey, we actually play each other this week. And so I was like, all right, Monday. Yeah, fair enough. And then on your six, I have to say, I've been, I've been really impressed with on your six, because they, they took a sabbatical like Immortals. They were gone for a little while. Um, I'll be honest and say I didn't expect a lot from them in the beginning, but they did come out with a win. Against NL. Against NL, yeah, they played them pretty good, so. And rather convincingly as well, it wasn't like they uh, they got lucky in one, they, they took it 3-1. So, Nightmare looking to bounce back as well, I'd imagine, after losing their first game. Uh, so they're not going to be easy games for you guys. No, it just goes to show that there are a lot of strong teams in the uh, GTL, so we have... That gives us more incentive to keep improving. No way. Well, this conversation got pretty boring real fast, huh? <laughs> well, it was going so much until you joined, soon. but um, you know that's neither here nor there. Oh yeah, blame me. <laughs> blame me. No, I stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> that's I mean, the New Yorkers. You know, I played on you six for a while, and I think they kind of merged with another clan back, and. Uh, Every time I've taken them lightly, I've actually paid for it, so I don't think that would really be the case. You know, no, I, for a while. I think a lot of teams have made that mistake. I know Chief, for one, made that mistake and got embarrassed on Wednesday night fights for it. Um, they're definitely not a team to treat with no respect. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think who was the team that they merged with. I think it might have been UGCC, possibly, or Savage. Oh, yeah, it was Which, Savage. That's who it was. Okay. Savage. Savage, who, who didn't really get going um, as, as a clan, that is. But yeah, alrighty. Well, I think everyone's bored of my voice. Of um, course. No, I barely even wanted well, to join the party. Well, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the party invite. It was a good talk, you know. Get out of your way. Asmodeus, I do have one question for you. Oh, this guy's here. What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, what's that? <laughs> it's a bit of a hot topic in the Twitch chat for the stream, so I thought I'd uh, get your side of it. Uh, okay. A lot of people are debating the legality of the team for Immortals, with it being mixed clans. Right. Uh, just wanted to get your, your input on and all that. Well, I asked, I spoke with both of the admins, and basically just comes down to this. If 
it was meant to be in the rules, but it wasn't. So we're allowed to have multiple clan tags due to a technicality. It wasn't meant to be there, but it was, so we're using it. Because it's just easier that way. But anyways, as long as you're on the roster, then you should be able to play. That's as simple as it gets. The submitted roster. From what my understanding was, that was told to me. But 19's here, so he could tell me I'm wrong right now. You're wrong, you've been disqualified. Yeah. Thanks for coming to see you later. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's, what's the hot topic? The fact that we have separate yeah, tags um, or the fact that we merge or the fact that people are salty? What's going there's, on? There's a lot I, of I think it's salt the about more it. than anything. But... Um, from what I understand, KYS yeah. is basically Immortals, just like a different group of Immortals players. Is that right? That is incorrect. I've never played with him before. No, no. KYS is basically just NS. But we didn't want to play the GTL under the NS tag, so we're playing under KYS. But, yeah. KYS is owned by, like, uh, two gaming bros in Virality, whereas NS is controlled by Rupture Ninja and Jokers. All NS players, but just different tags. So... We use KYS, the Immortals players stick with the Immortals tag, it's just easier that way, not having to s swap, you know, tags, you know. But yeah, Immortals and K um, KYS is not affiliated with Immortals. KYS is affiliated with NS. Okay. Well, no, thanks for clearing that up for us. Because we were, uh, well, I was wondering what it was happening, because I only thought Immortals was playing today, so thanks for that. No, like Tubbin said, he wasn't even really planning on playing, and I just asked him very last minute, and he said, sure. So. Yeah, it was so pretty much I think we were both in the same boat. Okay. What, so, what, so much my name? Who? What? You got any more questions? <laughs> she wants to no, get no, out No, no, I'm good. I mean... Means. I, I just, yeah, just, I just to, to sort of <laughs> confirm and, and, and clarify what Emilia said. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we we missed it in the rules um, in that every team member every team member has to have the clan tag. But technically, um, they did register as Immortals KYS. And I mean, they submitted their roster of players we were expecting to see. No one else has turned up to it, so there's there's no real issue with it. Um, we've had a lengthy discussion. There's certainly no favoritism. It was a, a mistake on GTL's part, and yeah, there's there's no illegal activity going on. Um, so we can, I, I I think, without offending the viewers, put that down to saltiness, maybe. I was just throwing out there was bait. I was hoping I was going to get a reaction. <laughs> just, to be honest with you, I wasn't actually being serious. But. No, likewise. Um, but yeah, no, there's 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 nothing amiss there. Um, it it will be rectified for the next season. As we said in the beginning, with all of this, there there are certainly going to be things that we got wrong. Hopefully, they're not, you know tournament ending things like picking Pilsen as the final map to uh, play the championship game on but uh, oh, that yeah, was fun. There, there'll be little niggles here and there and um, hopefully none of it's too serious but yeah, I think, either uh, way, I'm going to get I'm going to get out of here before uh, somebody asks another question you guys have a good rest of the night I'm going to fall asleep and, uh, what, what are you going to have for dinner Tobins Hey, I already ate. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to bed. Bedtime. Someone did say that we um, the way to beat you guys was basically to play you as late as possible because you're a, an early retiree. Old to bed. man. <laughs> I was oh, trying to be that, polite. Is that what it is, huh? <laughs> it depends on if I take a nap or not. If I take a nap, I'm feeling good. You know, I just happen not to nap today. You know what I mean? But usually, you know, if I got a big game later, I'll nap. So triple header matches is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to arrange everything from about 10 p.m. onwards, all, 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 all of the games there, and, and get well, a, a sleepy Tubbins into the party afterwards. 
Well, if you do that, I'll kill you, because right now it's 5 a.m. 19, all right? I'll kick your ass. For me. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not doing this. That's serious. <laughs> I am in St. Petersburg, friend, so, you know, not fun for me. But uh, I just want to thank both of you for coming into interviews, because, you know, if I had to, I'd be like, nah, I'm good, because I don't like speaking to people. But I'd like to say thank you. And yeah, before any of these pressure. two can... I enjoy talking to yeah. people. And for these two have any questions, because I don't have any questions, we can end this. Because it's sleepy time for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's... Bye-bye, well, 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 well. Yeah, I think on that note, thank you for you both for, for coming in and, and shooting the breeze with us. Um, for the next one, if, if you have anyone else who you want to talk to, or if you guys don't want to, just, just send me a DM and we'll get them in instead. Yeah. Well, right, I'd like, I good, just... Dude. Yeah, I'd just like to thank you guys for streaming, commentating, and setting the tournament up. Mm -hmm. You know, someone yeah, the had streams to good. I, did, I was so. kind of missing the guy who randomly showed up and screamed. What happened to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> Otherwise engaged, I believe. But um, yeah, no, thank you all. Um, thank you to all again to Dingy and to Grim as well for coming along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been another wonderful and exciting episode of GTL. Thank you all for coming to watch. Don't forget to subscribe to Got a Dinghy, um, who's been an absolute hero this week and streamed pretty much every single game for us. So oh, a you're a beast, thank you to Dinghy. More than me. <laughs> all right, either way, guys, I'm out of here. All yeah. right, Tobin, thanks for coming along. Cheers, bud. Have a nice Peace. night. Alright guys, that's going to have to be it for the stream. Thanks for watching. Everyone who followed, much appreciated for the support. I know um, there's probably more people that are confused about the uh, Immortals team. Um, but like 19 said, it was reviewed by several people. Um, it is a loophole, but it, they are on the Immortals roster. So it's uh, confusing. I know probably a little irritating for for some other clans but is what it is um so yeah thanks for watching and uh have a good one oh the next stream i believe is tomorrow yep tomorrow at 8 p.m eastern i will be streaming af versus hn and then at 9 p.m eastern i'll be streaming lg versus chiefs well, should be good streams for both of those. Don't forget to check them out. And have a good one. Later.